Health concerns on Long Island after the discovery of a rare contagious bird disease. Good evening once again. I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson. Welcome back to the broadcast. It is an illness that could spread to humans. And it was discovered in a bird that lived with more than 100 others before they were all rescued. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff has this exclusive story. Aretha, an exotic bird, sits in isolation after testing positive for exposure to a rare disease, psittacosis, known as parrot fever. Her caretaker worries about her own health. Olivia Schmalfus's doctor suspects she may have caught parrot fever from her bird. I got very sick and I had chills and fever. If you don't go on antibiotics, you can get severely sick, you can have terrible pneumonia, or you can even have organ swelling. She's concerned about other unsuspecting bird foster families. Aretha used to live with more than 100 other birds, rescued by the SPCA in December from this Huntington house. Volunteer families eagerly took the birds in. Could they now be at risk? Dr. John Cheros caring for Aretha says birds can carry the bacteria without symptoms. The only way that you're really going to get it is airborne, where you're inhaling it and you're inhaling little microparticles of the, of the bacteria itself. The Suffolk Health Department investigating has not confirmed either case. Additional testing is underway. Meanwhile, the SPCA sent out letters advising fostering families to test for parrot fever. Animal rescue groups think the agency should have tested the birds first. They should be tested, and um, they should all be tested, or even if it's a, a hundreds of animals, spot checked. The nonprofit SPCA tells CBS2 it's the responsibility of the foster family to test. Each bird was examined on site by a vet, and chances of infection are remote. Exotic bird retailer BTJ Jungle says they advise customers to test birds. Birds are really good at not showing them the signs of being sick. The birds expected to pull through. Olivia, too, recovering after a round of antibiotics. She says she's gone public so that parrot fever isn't mistaken for the common flu. In Valley Stream, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. And the Centers for Disease Control says with proper treatment, the disease is rarely fatal in people. There is no proof it can spread between people.